The K Flock case has now been upgraded to a RICO case following his arrest on December 23rd, 2021. Ever since then, it's been very quiet from the New York rapper until recently, where he reacted to his case being upgraded to Rico on social media alongside his lawyers. Before hearing his reaction, it's important to hear the new court files regarding his court case to get an idea on how severe this is. As the new court files state, and I quote, On December 23rd, 2021, New York rapper K Flock, otherwise known as Kevin Perez, was involved in a situation leading to the passing of an Uber Eats driver and hardworking man named Oscar Hernandez, as explained by his parents. On this day, Kevin Perez, aka K Flock, was seen walking down the street in New York City. From the photos you see here, K Flock is seen walking past a barber shop with two other individuals to his side. K Flock, wearing the designer blue coat, he was wearing a shiesty mask on this day with skinny jeans. While walking past this barber shop, a man walks out of the barber shop as they noticed K Flock walking by. The man leaving the shop is known as Oscar Hernandez, who saw K Flock staring at him through the barber shop window and wanted to see what he wanted. Hernandez is then seen stepping out of the barber shop while K Flock continued walking by. This is where Oscar Hernandez screams at Flock asking, hey, what are you looking at? While K Flock continues to take a few steps forward, he then quits walking. He then turns around and starts a small argument between him and Oscar Hernandez. With the two New York men arguing on the street, this caused a lot of action on the road, as cars were seen slowing down trying to see what the commotion was about on the street. With the arguing soon to be coming to an end, K Flock was being ready to start walking away before he quickly saw Oscar Hernandez make a movement sort of like he was trying to grab at something in his waistband. And while Oscar is kind of doing that motion, this is where K Flock then grabs his firearm from out of his waistband, which then causes Oscar Hernandez to quickly turn around and begin running away from K Flock. But he was not quick enough as K Flock would then use his firearm and and connecting a few to Oscar Hernandez while he was trying to sprint inside of a store. It is still yet to be confirmed if Oscar Hernandez had a firearm or why he would even make that motion, but sources claim that this is a common street tactic where before someone gets into a brawl, they will kind of pretend to grab at their waist where a firearm would be to see if they can scare the other person off. But K Flock, in that situation, he was not having it, and he came fully prepared. With K Flock, connecting to Oscar Hernandez, the last few things at the scene were shell casings in Hernandez's slides that he was wearing on this day, as Hernandez was quickly rushed to the local NYC hospital, where he would sadly pass during this moment. Now, Kevin Perez, professionally known as K Flock, was the main suspect in this investigation, but he has soon been arrested only a few days later, turning himself in to the NYPD, as he's now facing charges of the first degree in this situation. After turning himself in, K Flock was then shipped off to Rikers Island Jail, where him and his lawyers are doing anything possible to get him released. But while K Flock was being sentenced and shipped off to jail, Hernandez's parents spoke out about the passing, as they believe that this was a case of mistaken identity. Oscar Hernandez was a delivery man for Uber Eats, and he was described as a hard worker who has no street ties as he's too busy studying as well as working. However, once this case hit news headlines only 30 minutes after the incident, the NYPD released a photo of the suspect during the time and they hoped that people in the area could figure out who this mystery man was, but literally within seven minutes of this photo being posted to social media, with the NYPD asking if anyone knows who this is, it quickly went viral online, thousands of people tagging K Flock in it, and even calling the NYPD, saying that it's K Flock. As K Flock, earlier on that day, went on Instagram Live, and even showed the outfit that he was wearing. This is when the NYPD put out a warrant for Flock's arrest, and this is also when K Flock hired one of the best lawyers in the game. With K Flock hiring his lawyer, they then both walked into the NYPD 30th precinct together, and his lawyer released this statement. Yesterday, I accompanied Kevin, aka K Flock, as he self-surrendered to detectives in the 30th precinct. 
fact. Arrangements were made immediately with the NYPD once I learned that he was a wanted man. As to the charges against him, we have begun our own investigation into these allegations. More importantly, considering the DA's significant disclosure this morning that the NYPD received a tip saying someone else is the hitter, we then demanded the DA's office to provide disclosure of the videos referenced in the complaint and more information on the tip. We will address bail once we have had enough to review the case and further our investigation to the DA's noteworthy disclosure. Now, after this statement was released, we then saw the NYPD release their statement to social media, as they believe that this incident was street-related based on K-Flock's documented affiliation with the Bronx-based Third Side Street Team. It was documented that K-Flock was heavily involved in street-related acts within his time in the free world in New York. Being a big name figure in the city, he had lots of control on situations, but this also created him to be a main target when his ops would retaliate. Now, due to those reasons, K Flock and his lawyers are convinced and are even making the claim that this situation was an act of self defense by K Flock. As on February 24th, it was announced, and I quote, Bronx drill rapper K Flock was just indicted by a federal grand jury for a bunch of new racketeering conspiracy charges, also known as Rico Case. Now, this had many hip hop creators reacting by stating, K Flock just caught a Rico. It's really over. Over, to even DJ Academics releasing, Feds just unsealed an indictment on K-Flock for a RICO charge. The mandatory minimum if he doesn't beat those charges or snitch is life in prison. He still is facing state charges that has him locked up. Pray for him. Now the news of K-Flock facing RICO charges started to hit news headlines fast. This is where his lawyer, as well as K-Flock, were quick to release a statement regarding K-Flock and his future and reacting to the case. Now it reads, and I quote, We're not surprised by the federal charges as we've been defending Kevin's state charges for over a year now. Considering the incident was a clear act of self-defense, it wasn't a particularly strong charge. That it's now being used as a basis for a possible penalty charge is extraordinary. On video, it is crystal clear that Kevin was about to be affected after attempting to walk away from the other person. Only then did Kevin use an item to defend himself from another armed team member who was about to pull out his item from out of his pocket. Now I should state that Kevin and his legal team have footage that the regular public like us do not have. So in that statement, it clearly states that Oscar Hernandez did have a firearm on him and wasn't just grabbing grabbing at his waistband for nothing. Now, k Flock's lawyer also did a video reaction during an interview where he said this about the New York rapper. When the guy hits the ground and is found, he's got a loaded that was in his pocket that his hand was on at the time. You know, we consider that to be self-defense. So he did take him in self-defense. That's what the allegation is. You know, I don't want to talk too much about the details of the case, okay. but the government claims that he pulled the but at the same time, the person that was ground had his hand on a loaded, illegal loaded, apparently about Kevin. Okay. So without saying too much, you're arguing obviously self-defense. That's the crux you know, of that, that, that could be one of the arguments, self-defense. And I, I would say to the public, you know, somebody's walking up to you with a loaded, it's pretty clear is going to use it mm -hmm. with a criminal record a mile long. Do you want to get or do you not want to? Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't hesitate to pull the Leave a like on the video if you're a fan of K-Flock. I'm curious how many fans are watching today. Now, it's clear that K-Flock and his lawyers are going to be using the self-defense claim in the courtroom to try to beat these charges. Now, while even if it does work, his sentence sure will get a little bit smaller. But there's only one issue with self-defense in New York City. This problem is it's practically non-existent. The law in New York City is very different than other places in the world. 
world. Having a firearm in general in New York City, whether you use it or not, is highly against the law. The only ones allowed using a firearm is law enforcement, ex-law enforcement, as well as registered security guards. But even just for the sake of argument for the video, let's say that K Flock can claim self-defense as easy as he could in, say, Florida. This is immediately thrown out the window as K Flock used his firearm against Hernandez's back. The argument in court would be made of how is K Flock scared of the man that's not even facing him? Oscar Hernandez was looking the completely wrong way, so why would K Flock go out and actually use his item? The only great part about using Using the self-defense claim, even if it does work, is he won't go to prison for life. He may go to prison for maybe 15 years. But K Flock may have just ruined his very short music career for good. K Flock was one of the fastest growing rappers in New York City. He has been making huge waves in the industry with his distinct style and lyrical prowess. As he was born and raised in the Bronx, and it sadly looks like he just ruined his career also in the Bronx. It's been District Trending, and I'm ending the video here. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.